Hey, what's good? I'm Tristan. You're watching Precision Rifle Reviews and today we're taking a look at a really cool item from Armageddon Gear. People that don't know, Armageddon Gear is a, an American company that manufactures very, very high quality uh, shooting sport products um, like bags and um, accessories for, for shooting sports. Um, tripods um, in the sport of shooting sports is something that has become extremely popular. They've always been used for things like spotting scopes, but particularly in PRS, uh, they are now used for, like this one here from Really Right Stuff, is actually used to, to hold the entire rifle itself. People don't put any accessories in the tripod and take it to a stage and they'll use the arm because they're so stable that you can hang off this thing. They'll use the leg of the tripod for toe support while into a barricade and that sort of thing. So basically in a nutshell, tripods are something that's becoming very, very more and more used in shooting sports. The team at Armageddon Gear noticed this. They sort of came up with a product called a tripod caddy. So in a nutshell, a tripod caddy is a very simple, lightweight canvas uh, construction that attaches via Velcro straps very quick on, very quick off to your tripod and allows you to keep all the stuff that you don't want to keep in your pockets going in and out of stages basically on your tripod. It's an awesome idea. Okay, so the first thing that you'll notice with the tripod caddy from Armageddon Gear is its construction. It's made out of a very, very high quality canvas. This particular one is in multicam and they do another color which is a gray and black and complements the carbon fiber tripods very, very well. I chose this one because I um, do quite a lot of hunting. Um, so this is the card that comes with the, uh, with the Armageddon Gear tripod caddy. Um, basically the Warranty card just goes on to state that they do actually have a lifetime uh, warranty against manufacturing defects and that sort of thing. And let's get straight to what you get and what you're looking at. You've got a mesh pocket from the front, which is ideal for items that you want to be able to uh, basically see and use throughout the day really quite quickly. Things like your wallet, keys, and then that just pulls forward and it's closed in there. It's not gonna come out anytime soon, so it's really quite good. Now I do like this for people uh, that might be using this for a little bit of a sneaky type sort of uh, jobs where you need to be very, very quiet and that sort of thing. It's great not having the Velcro and that sort of thing or a clip that's clasping in and out for the items that are opening and closing regularly. They've just got a built-in uh, locking system on the, on the, uh, on the cord itself that once it sits in, it just locks in there. So it makes it actually really quite quick to open as well, that if you're in a bit of a rush, you can just pull that up, drop it down. You've got built-in uh, support legs here. Um, on the inside, you've got a um, elastic strap. I put my um, battery pack in there so I can charge my phone. This particular battery pack will actually run my lab radar as well, which is quite handy, but I don't need batteries for that. You've got two large pockets here in the front and they're exactly the same size and fit a Kestrel uh, weather meter in there very, very perfectly. It's sort of almost made for it. You've got two pen holders here. Um, three, should I say? Three pen holders where I keep my pen. Um, I've never been to a match where people aren't looking for pens to write in their books and that sort of thing. And that's about it. So two open pockets, three pens and a strap. Just pull it up and it locks away like that. And that's the whole top section taken care of. Down the front here, you've got two very large pockets. Now, like these pockets, as you can see here, you've got a very large Velcro section here, which means you could pack this out if you had something quite long in there and it still stays locked. Or if you've got something small, like I've just got an additional um, magazine in there, that you can put it in, lock it down, and it's closed all the way down. So you've got two of those Velcro pockets at the front with uh, looped over um, reinforcement there to, to pull it open. One thing that I would have loved to have seen Armageddon gear do on this particular pack, we do use this outside and I'm a big fan of the water world or the, the waterproof zips. This is just, it's a very high quality zip and it matches the colouring and so forth quite well, but hey, there are better zips out there and I would have liked to have seen that on this particular item. I've just got my mountain bike gloves in there as a demonstration but you've got 
the entire length of that front pocket, you know, sort of a good two, 250 mil deep that you can put all, all the way in. And you've got two pockets identical like that. And that one, as you can see, I've got my ears, a bit of fruit, snacks. There's heaps of room in there. You could fill this full of brass, um, your matchbook. There's so many different things that you can put in there. And it's instrumentally awesome, keeping all of this stuff out of your pockets. In a PRS match, we're running them up and down and moving around. You wanna keep your pockets as free from clutter as possible because we're gonna be doing a lot of running and moving. I did mention how easy and quickly it comes on and off. So they're just Velcroed on, but you can hear how quiet this Velcro is. They're not a loud Velcro because, you know, some people do use these in the type of jobs where they're trying to be very quiet. One thing that I really do like is that they've used their um, sticky material from their sticky game changer, which is just a very ultra sticky bag. And it's a very soft touch material on the inside of the leg there. So when it wraps around the tripod, it's not gonna scratch it and beef it up. You've got three straps on each side. So you just undo your three straps and it's gonna fall away totally. The other thing before I just take that last one off and it falls away. I'm just gonna turn this side on a little bit and you'll notice that on the inside here, you've got a big mesh bucket and that one's really handy. You can put things that you're gonna be accessing quickly, um, your next stage magazine or whatever it might be, uh, shooting bag can just sit on there. So that one's really handy to have that um, big sort of open air bucket in there. Just take that off. That one is the last one. And of course there's one at the top and that's how quickly it reverts back to a normal tripod. So it's gonna take about 10 seconds to revert it back to a uh, to a normal tripod. And you can just, that nothing's gonna fall out of that. It's all locked in and secure. You can put that by the side and then go and use your tripod in a match if you needed to. Um, the one thing I would like to point out guys, if you're in America, you can go straight over to Armageddon Gear and check out the, the, uh, the item. If you're here in Australia, please check out Low Viz Gear, which is the exclusive um, distributor for Armageddon gear here in Australia. The team at Low Viz Gear, they practice what they preach. They use the items that they sell. They act very, very active in shooting sports, particularly the PRS um, series here in Australia, and uh, just very, very helpful, high quality items, very helpful team. Um, at Low Viz Gear. I'm going to hyperlink their information below. So if you'd like to check this item out or go ahead and purchase one, uh, thank them for their support to the PRS and to shooting sports, and you'll be able to uh, get it online and from there, from the link below. If you take value from the videos that we make, feel free to uh, subscribe, like, and share it around. It does help us out, but only do it if you could be bothered. And I hope to see you on the very next video.